Hey guys, Wayne Stevenson here. In this video, I want to share with you my thoughts on um, helping you get over that learning curve, and becoming familiar and comfortable flying in uh, either drones or drone simulators. I'd say the best piece of advice I'd like to share is that you might want to consider lowering your rates. And by rates, I mean um, your flight controller settings or your uh, degrees per second movement on your axis. Now, uh, typically in the uh, flight controller settings in these simulators or in beta flight itself, your stock rates are going to be around uh, well, specifically 667 degrees per second of rotation on the axis. Now that's perfectly flyable and most people start out with that, but a lot of people also find that it's uh, a little too responsive starting out. As you can see here this one's 667 and here in beta flight uh, is what it matches. So you're going to see similar rates in, in most simulators out there. Well, by lowering that a little bit, you might find that uh, you can get through that learning curve a little bit easier because you can actually see what's going on. You move it slow and deliberately. I'm going to show you here. Uh, I'm going to lower the camera angle here so that you can watch the axis a little bit better. And I'm going to show you uh, the response at three different rates. We're going to try 667 degrees. So here you can see how responsive that is. Yeah, it's a very comfortable rate. It's the, the default rate, but it is a lot faster than it needs to be when just starting out. Alright, we're going to set this rate up to uh, a thousand. So, if you've been watching a lot of uh, FPV videos of uh, freestylers and you, you see all the snappy moves, um, like your snap rolls, snap flips, they're usually operating at higher rates. So I'm going to give an example on this one just so you can see. As you can see here, I'm struggling to, to hit the 360 degrees on spot. I'm not used to flying at this rate there, so that's not going to be uncommon for anybody uh, flying at those rates. you got to learn that muscle movement so it becomes second nature and you don't even have to think about it. Now, here if we lower our rates... I like to personally fly around 400 on my roll and pitch and have that on my yaw, but for here we're just going to uh, keep all three at 400. Lower the super a little bit. I'm not going to get into uh, what those all mean. Um, just starting out, just keep your max at a good, uh, a good rate. And that kind of, it's like training wheels. But uh, you'll also find that at a lower rate there, you're a little bit more cinematic. Uh, your moves are a lot more deliberate. You can see it is responsive. It's not as responsive as the other rates. 
but definitely flyable and it's still a lot of fun and depending on your flying style you might prefer this and we'll just take a little fly here here we're at 667 degrees per second So the higher rate it is, obviously more responsive. Maneuverability is a lot, uh, a lot more responsive as you can see. Tight maneuvering is uh, a little bit easier. Now setting it up to uh, thousand degrees per second. A quick flight here. You can see you can do those snap moves a lot uh, a lot easier because it actually snaps. Very responsive. And running at these rates there is going to be a learning curve to it obviously. And then when we go to 400 degrees a second, you'll see the difference. We we'll stu still do acrobatics. We're moving from uh, higher rates to a lower rate, you're going to notice right off the bat it's going to feel slightly sluggish it's going to feel like you can't control it that's a little bit of a learning curve too you'll get through it anyhow I hope this helps you out give it a shot let me know what you think